welcome. I'm Emerald Lagasse, and uh, thanks for joining me here on The Essence of Emerald. You know, most people think of French cuisine. Soufflés definitely come to mind. Probably a good reason for that. The art required to make these light, airy egg dishes is definitely the essence of classical French cooking. There are three keys to a successful souffle. First is getting the right consistency in both the egg yolk and the beaten egg whites. That's right, beaten egg whites. Second, combining them properly, the right proportion. And last but not least is baking the mixture at the right temperature and also making sure that at that right temperature no disturbance happens so that that souffle comes crumbling down. One of the favorite souffles, particularly at Emeralds, is the J.K. chocolate souffle. Doesn't that got a nice ring to it? J.K. Hey, J.K., how you doing? Probably out there watching. John Kushner, one of our best customers and great friends, and I decided when we opened Emeralds to actually name a dish after J.K. And uh, the story is, is that he loved and has been a fan of the souffle of mine for a many, many, many years. So I decided to name this to him, and it's printed on the menu as J.K. Souffle. And I'm going to show you an easy version of one. First of all, eggs, as I said, important part of souffle is making sure that the egg yolk is separated from the egg white. You see how I'm separating that? And then you put the egg yolk right there and then keep them separate. Another key, I didn't even tell you about this, is when you're making the meringue, the egg whites, when you're whipping the egg whites, because whipping the egg whites stiff is what is actually going to be the leavening agent, that thing that poofs it up. That's right. Make sure your bowl is absolutely, positively clean. Now, a little tip for you is just taking a little either lemon juice or a little vinegar with hot water, wiping that bowl out. And that way, wipe it out good. That way it will ensure a good, a good whip on those egg whites. So once you got that, what I've done is I've melted here about six ounces of chocolate. And uh, you can see really good and, good and runny. That's a semi-sweet chocolate. So we have the chocolate. And then what we're going to do is actually now we're going to start whipping our egg whites to a meringue. And we're going to sweeten these with some sugar. But first, you got to make sure that you got a good rise. They, they start really getting thick and getting to a peak is what it's called before you start adding the sugar. Now, I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar, a couple of egg yolks to about six, seven ounces of chocolate. And when that happens, as you can see, it's going to start getting very thick and you're going to think that something's wrong with the chocolate. And the reason for that is is because it just went through a temperature change. The chocolate is almost in shock when you added something to room temperature to the chocolate that's been heating up. You see it's getting thick and well don't get nervous about that. Because we're going to get it drunk anyhow. And we're going to add a little bit of gramonier. We add a little gramonier there. Take a sip, whip it up a little bit more. Now it's really going to look disgusting. But don't worry. It's going to be the old JK souffle right here. Now, you see the meringue? It's getting really good and stiff. That's when you start adding the sugar. And then. You turn that, turn that off, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take 
our meringue. Now you can always add, and I want to show you a little, little technique here. Now what we want to start doing is we want to start folding in. We want to start folding in, just like that, the chocolate into our egg white mixture. And this is like making a batter, and that's exactly what a souffle is. You see how airy that is? You don't want to beat that down. You want to keep folding it and getting that air in there. Now I think you could take a little bit more meringue. And the reason I know that is because of the color. And we have too much density than we have white. So what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit more, a little bit more egg white to that. It should almost have like a milk chocolatey color, which you'll see. You see that? Now that's better. We fold that in there. Hey, the battle's done. The battle's done. You take a little bit of take a little bit of butter and you take your little ramekins or whatever size you have and you butter your ramekins up. And then we take a little bit of sugar and you just sort of take your ramekin and spin it around and then you got your ramekins are all nice and sugared up. You see that? Hey, one more. Butter them up, and then we'll sugar them. Perfect. Then you get this great airy batter, souffle batter. You take your batter, put them right inside of your. Hey, JK, this one's for you. Put them right inside there. The oven's at about 350, 375 degrees. Now these little guys aren't going to take long. These are little baby souffles, little miniature ones. We make them big, we make them small. You pop them in the oven like I'm going to do right now. Oh, maybe it's going to take about no more than 12 minutes for these little guys. And boy, you're going to taste this excellent JK souffle when I come back. Going to show you another souffle flavored with New Orleans. We're going to make a little chocolate sauce. We're going to make this. Oh, stay with me. We'll be right back on The Essence. Hey, welcome back to The Essence of Emerald. Now we're going to just take a little look and finish a little chocolate sauce for those wonderful JK souffles. This is a little uh, cream that I've got that I just sort of brought up, kind of a little scald. Then I'm added some chopped chocolate that you can see. And I want to just sort of whisk in that chocolate. If it's not sweet enough, you can add a little bit more sugar. And hey, you got to have a little bit of that liqueur in there just to make it taste really good. Let's make sure now look, you want to be sure that you keep whisking it. You see that until it's dissolved? And you can add as much chocolate, as little as you like, or whatever. You see this is a really nice chocolate consistency, but you see I'm whisking it because some of the chocolate is still on the bottom, and you want to make sure that you keep whisking it and work all of that chocolate in there. And then you've got this really, really delicious chocolate sauce to go with those chocolate souffles, which are in the oven. Mmm. Now, while we're talking souffles, Commander's Palace, creator, Dick Brennan, Commander's Palace, bread pudding souffle. Unbelievable. It is now a New Orleans, for this matter, American institution with the creation of bread pudding souffle. I mean, watch this real quick. You take some liquid. You make your favorite simple bread pudding that you like. I got a little cream. I've got cinnamon. I've got a little nutmeg. 
I've got some white sugar. I've got some brown sugar. I've got granulated sugar and white sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of raisins. And then what you do is that once you get all of that mixed up, dissolved, the liquid part of it, once you do that, right, now, whoo, that's tasty. Then you add your bread, and you let that soak, refrigerate, soak for an hour, two hours. If you can do it overnight, that's perfect. Get it really good and wet. You bake that pudding. You can put it inside some ramekins. You can put it inside of a dish. You bake that. And then you've got bread pudding. Now here's my good friend Dick Brennan, a simple version of his creation. I mean, a simple one for you at home, Commander's Palace. You take some of that bread pudding like I have here, put it right inside this little dish. Density, right? Density. All right, we'll have one for camera three, too. He looks a little hungry right now. You break up this little pudding, little pieces. You keep breaking it up. You can do it with your hand, et cetera, et cetera. You just keep breaking that pudding up. I want you to see this now because this is unbelievable. Then maybe you want to soak it with a little bit, either some rum or brandy, whiskey, hey, whatever you like. All of the above works. You just sort of moisten that up. Get a little meringue whipped up, really good and stiff. Hey, Mr. Lou, I know you're watching out there, and uh, this one's for you on the essence. Break it all up. Then, once that meringue, which I've added sugar, gets really good and stiff, you add a meringue, just like I did with the chocolate, to this bread pudding. Hey, think about this. You guys up there in Maine or New Hampshire, maybe you got some rice pudding. You ever thought about maybe doing a rice pudding souffle? That would be interesting. Then you fold this meringue right into that bread pudding. And if it's not sweet enough, you can add a little bit more sugar. Then we take our mold and we mold our bread pudding just like that. Then you take a little bit more of that meringue that you have, just like I have here. You see this? Watch. And we'll just sort of give it a little dome, little dome effect. I know, we're breaking all the rules. Oh, there's no rules on the essence. The only rule is to have fun and cook great food. Now, before I put that in the oven, guess what? <laughs> They're all poofed up. Woo! You see those guys? JK. He would be proud right now because you just give him a little dust like that, little essence, and then we got our little, our little plate there, and then we just sort of take our little souffle like that. Look at that, huh? Give it a little more dust, and then the best thing is you take a little bit of that chocolate sauce. You see that? It's thirsty. It's drinking all that chocolate sauce. It's so thirsty, that souffle, and the reason why 
is because it knows that I'm going to just have a little bite of that right now. You see the, look at the inside of that. Oh, Jake, hey. Woo. Hey, I'm going to put this guy in. Don't go anywhere. When I come back, I'm going to show you the icing of this souffle. Don't go away. Stay with me on the essence of emerald. Bread pudding souffle bakes. It's gonna whip up a little perfect southern sauce, a little whiskey sauce. We've got a little milk and a little cream here in this pot just coming up, and I'm gonna add a little bit of whiskey to it now. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Then we're gonna sweeten it with a little sugar. Perhaps maybe a little vanilla if you like a little vanilla. And I got some cornstarch here sort of thicken it up a little bit and we can add a little bit more of our whiskey in there sort of dissolve our cornstarch and then what we can do then is just add our starch to that and cook it out just as I'm doing right there and then you want to take it right off the stove you see that we take it right off the stove. You can always add, remember that. You can always add, but uh, you can't take out. So uh, we'll check that out. Mmm, coating a spoon. Really delicious, see that? Now we get a little whiskey sauce. Hey, just a little whiskey sauce in that bread pudding would be, would be delightful. Absolutely delightful. Now, what I'm going to do is I got our whiskey sauce now, so... I'm going to come on over here and check out our plate and I'm going to take a little bit of some powdered sugar on our plate like that. And then I got a little cocoa and uh, I'm going to add a little cocoa just in uh and let's see I got uh, some beautiful raspberries today at the at the store that were just looking really nice so I'm going to add a little bit of raspberries. And uh, that's looking really good. And uh, let's see. Maybe we'll need a little blackberry. The berries are so beautiful, so tasty. Okay, well, we got that. And then um, mint. You know, we have a lot of mint in the south and mint juleps and all sorts of things that we do with mint. You just kind of look for those beautiful fresh leaves. And then uh, we'll put a little of those fresh leaves on our little plate. You know, that bread pudding, uh, as you toss it around, mix it inside of that ramekin, probably going to take about about 15 to 20 minutes. So you get, uh, you can set up a few of these plates ahead of time for your guests. And uh, we have our sauce made. And then basically we'll go and check in that time. Mr. Dick Brennan. Oh, look at that. You see, it's really baked up really good. Nice and golden brown and looking really delicious. And we'll just sort of put that right on our plate like that. And then, uh, like it commanders, after it comes out of the oven, they just sort of push it down just like such. We'll take a little bit of that delicious whiskey sauce. Woo! Commander's Palace, an incredible restaurant. And Dick Brennan, an incredible creator of a great dessert. 
Remember the secret to white souffles. You gotta handle them gingerly. Gingerly. Hey, I'm Emeril Lagasse. Thanks for joining me today on The Essence of Emeril. See you now.